Hello and welcome everybody. Recently, the NDEB have replaced an existing examination in their equivalency process and replaced it with a newer examination. Today, we'll be talking about the new exam in detail. If you aren't familiar with the existing format of the NDEB equivalency examination, please watch our previous videos on that topic. Hey guys, before we look at the rest of the video, just wanted to let you know that we have a new Instagram handle, Dentistry After BDS. So if you like what we are doing here and you like our videos, go to Instagram and give us a follow. In a recent article on their site, the NDEB have announced that they are replacing the current ACS, that is the Assessment of Clinical Skills Examination, with the new NDECC exam in 2022. ACS was the third exam in the NDEB equivalency process. It consisted of 12 dental procedures that candidates had to perform on stimulated patients or mannequins. The NDECC will be a little different from that. Let's see how. First, let's talk about the NDECC exam in brief. This exam will be a two-day exam which will consist of seven clinical requirements on stimulated patients, that is mannequins, in a clinical setting and ten situational judgment requirements, which means you will perform seven dental procedures and answer ten situational questions right then and there. The NDECC will be administered in the new NDEB test center located in Ottawa. The examination will be offered multiple times a week throughout the year. The first examination is expected to be offered in June 2022. This exam can be taken an unlimited number of times in a 60 month period. So now let's look at what the 7 clinical and 10 situational judgments exams will be. First the clinical procedures. So there are 7 clinical procedures including class 2 amalgam preparation, class 2 amalgam restoration, class 2 composite restoration, class 4 composite restoration, crown preparation, provisional restoration. Please note that the provisional restoration will be fabricated on the examinee's crown preparation and the last endodontic access cavity preparation. Other points to note are, the requirements assess clinical skills and techniques relevant to the current Canadian standards. You must perform all requirements as if you were working with actual patients. You are required to use your judgment and follow accepted clinical care guidelines and standards. Requirements can be performed in any order. Infection control and safety will be assessed by invigilators throughout the clinical skills day. So make sure that you do follow every instruction given by them. Now let's look at the situational judgments. First up is patient-centered care. Examples in this include assessing caries risk, managing patient's need, gathering data, developing a problem list, establishing diagnosis, sequence treatment, planning treatment, and maintaining records. Second is the professionalism. Examples in this are responding to ethical dilemmas, managing referrals, and using social media appropriately. Third, Communication and collaborations. Examples, maintain privacy, maintain records, write a referral, write a lab prescription, discussing treatment, document informed consent, demonstrate cultural competence, interacting with staff and giving post-op instructions. Fourth is practice and information management. Examples include managing patients' records, following protocols, making evidence-based decisions, health promotion. Examples include demonstrating an understanding for social determinants of health, promoting access to care for all individuals, promoting measures to prevent oral disease or injury, and such. The situational judgment component assesses judgment required for solving problems in work-related situations. Simply, you will be assessed on 10 situational judgment scenarios dealing with competency in patient-centered care, professionalism, communication and collaboration, practice and information management and health promotion. However, the scenarios in the above table are examples and do not reflect all situations that can be assessed. So prepare for everything and anything. Well, that was it. That was all about the new NDECC exam that is going to replace the ACS exam in 2022. So if you are planning to go to Canada after you complete your BDS in the year 2022 and after, you should be aware of this new exam and prepare accordingly. 
Do like and comment if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to Dentistry After BDS for more such contents. Share this video with your friends who dream to go abroad. Goodbye and have a nice day. This is Dentistry After BDS signing off. Until the next time.